October 6, 2014, Porto, Portugal. Now I'm recording what I've used for my daily work in my amateur travel photography. First of all, the camera. The camera you use is Canon EOS 70D. which has a good video capability and which I'm using now with the 18 to 135 millimeter lens to video this instruction video now the other long distance lens is the EOS 55 to 250mm as a mature photographer I carry these two lenses and uh, the spare battery so this must be charged every morning or overnight otherwise I will run out of uh, batteries. Uh, this is a spare one, the handphone can be used as a spare battery but it must be charged as well. This is a battery pack to provide the charging if necessary. The book record down. Then uh, we have the I have the reading light uh, specs, the mouse with a spare battery, a spare card, a spare thumb drive, two hard disk drive which I download every day, if possible, and uh, from through the laptop and uh, uh, check that they are downloaded. And sometimes I do uh, photoshopping of of the travelers. Now these are the two bags I have to carry along. Inside the coach, there's a camera bag which I carry with me. Just in case it rains, I can put my camera inside this bag for protection. And this is the laptop bag with the plastic bag containing all the plugs, adapters. Now the the elect adapters for European travel you need to have a travel plug normally have two and uh, should not forget uh, the battery for the for the laptop or possible uh, multiple USB and so these are the basic things I carry for my travel uh, one must be organized to download every morning otherwise when you go back to Singapore you just don't bother with all these uh, pictures you have taken so I try to Photoshop 10 good pictures every day because I know I wouldn't do it in Singapore as there is not much time so this is a nice hotel room provided has a living room to the bedroom and uh, so sometimes I do watch CNN to keep up the latest news and uh, today I notice I have a very nice uh, balcony in this Axis Porto Hotel and uh, it's about 5 a.m. now you can see Porto at 5 a.m. October 6, 2014 the air is chilly and uh, clear and there's no pollution or haze so back to work otherwise uh, there's no time and uh, I will be downloading the images now.